everybody welcome back Saturday morning back in the shop and uh, we're gonna work on the 600 shadow racer exhaust not sure how much I'm gonna get done today I'm leaving for vacation as soon as we leave here today so let's be honest I'm in serious vacation mode I did manage to get up and get in here a couple hours early I would like to get the exhaust at least all mocked up and tacked together so but we'll see how it goes today um, we're gonna build a two into one step header um, if you're not familiar with a step header basically it's a the header that starts off smaller and then progressively increases in tubing size towards the collector a um, couple of reasons for that number one it it's a race thing so on this bike for the look it's what we want um, it does actually have a function the the small pipes at the port keep the exhaust velocity high so you get the maximum amount of exhaust out while the valve is open and then you get increased flow as it works its way through the steps so we also are doing the two into one with the merge collector which provides scavenging so really this in my opinion and I don't have any actual scientific proof but in my opinion on a v-twin this is your most efficient biggest power making style of, of exhaust is a you know merge collector two into one and then if you make it a step pipe that actually steps it up even a little bit better uh, in the quality department so again this bike will make no horsepower you know 30 horsepower or whatever but it's just a cool looking pipe design number one and um, if we can get extra couple horsepower on a low horsepower bike it actually does make a bigger difference than you would think so uh, I skimped out on this and I just cut the flanges off the stock exhaust they come with a really tiny head pipe I believe it's like inch and three eighths maybe I'll measure it when we get out to the bike um, but it's a very tiny so I have like just a little three inch or so spigot off of each of those poking out and then we're gonna go from there to inch and a half and then from the inch and a half we'll step to inch and three quarters at the collector then the collector I got, I believe, has a two, I think a two inch exit. And then we have a little megaphone that we're gonna chop down to fit there. And um, that's it, it's gonna just be a little, really kind of basic, simple two into one drag bike type exhaust. So anyway, we'll see what we can come up with when we get out there. Thanks for being here. I hope you guys are enjoying this bike. This is going to be the, the wrap-up on the fab on this bike, really, and then it'll be ready to get it torn down, which will probably be happening next year, maybe, because December is looking to be a extremely busy month around here, and I'm not sure what we'll have time for. But either way, if we can get the fab wrapped up before we leave for vacation, that'll, that'll be a good feeling. So we're going to hop out there and get working. all right so we're out here you can see if i zoom in probably we got our stock flange here and we got our stock flange here and we're just going to use those to start our pipe build so this is our megaphone which is gonna end up landing somewhere around here i believe we'll see how that plays out maybe a little bit further back here um, Building pipes is something like when I start out, I have a general idea, obviously. And then a lot of times you have to kind of revamp or change your idea based on how stuff fits. Uh, you're also limited, like everything I do as far as pipe building, we do with uh, pre-bent mandrel bends and we cut and weld them together. So you're sometimes limited by what your bends will allow you to do. So this is something I really love using. These are, that's a full tubing bend, if you can see that. This is about the tightest radius pre-made bends I've ever found that you can get. So we're going to definitely use one of these here because this flange or uh, spigot is actually aiming backwards and we want to make a turn forward so we're going to need more than a 90 degree turn there so 
that's probably going to be possibly my first piece I make. And then coming off of here, we're going to need a little less than a 90 because this is actually, no, nope, I'm lying, maybe a slight bit more than a 90 coming off here too. So, And that's going to bring our two pipes here, which will then turn into the bend to go into our collector, which I think I left up front. I'll have to grab that. All right, so went ahead and cut our donut. Two things of note. Number one, the inside seam on these isn't welded. It's just, I think, a result of the way they're made. They actually stamp these in halves and then weld the outside and grind them nice. So just once you cut it open and start using it, don't forget to weld up your inner seam. All right, so quick update redo. The exhaust donut is the inch and three quarter. That's the second step. My brain is not working great today. So we have, these are regular J bends, inch and a half, tight radius. I believe it's a two, uh, it doesn't say, but I believe it's a two and a half inch radius, which is the tightest you can get in a J bend. And this is gonna be our first step, which will fit here onto our stock flange. So pop the stock flange off. I'll take you guys over to the vise and show you how I uh, hammer this shrink into the end of the pipe for a fit. All right, we're over here at the vise. We're gonna make our tubing shrinks. So it's just a little T-dolly. If you don't have one of these, you could really make one out of a piece of round bar and flat bar weld them together, smooth it out. I mean, it's nothing special. These are some real cheap ones from Harbor Freight I bought years ago. I don't know if they even still sell them, but then all we're gonna do is take our larger diameter tube, which is our inch and a half, you sit it just on the edge. Let me zoom in a little bit here so you guys can see better maybe. Okay. So you're gonna sit this just over the peak where this is floating off the dolly and you're gonna hammer it down. And then you just keep doing, you can start to already see. Let me see if it'll focus. Focus. There we go, maybe. You can start to just barely see here where it already started to tuck in a little bit. So. There we go. You can see right where I was hammering here. It's just starting to roll in. Right there, so. We're gonna just continue that complete full circumference all the way around. All right, so come on. You can start to see the radius starting to form on the edge here. And then you just want to keep checking until we're nice and snug on our pipe we're trying to step from, which we're just about there. So once you have that done, you can go ahead and weld this in place. Now, normally when I'm building pipes, I would tack everything, you know, check our fitment. But on your first piece, if you have a round exhaust spigot like this, it doesn't really matter because you don't have to worry about the clocking as you're gonna adjust this where it mounts in the bike to make sure it fits how you want. So you can go ahead and full weld this from the start and you're gonna be okay.
So there we go. We got our first piece welded. Obviously now we got to let that cool. Once it's cool, we'll fit it back on the bike and continue on with this process for, uh, I don't know, maybe six, eight, ten pieces we'll have to make to get these pipes put together. All right, so second engine mount piece is done. We will uh, let these cool up, come back, put them on the bike, and make our next pieces. All right, so we got our parts cooled down. I'm gonna go ahead and get these installed on the bike. Side though. <laughs> All right, so we got our two flanges on here. We're going to need to square this off so that the new piece will come back. And then this we'll probably have to extend. I guess we'll extend both of them slightly. too sure yet let me get this trimmed off and then we'll start looking at that So here's what I'm working through my head is ideally you want the tubes 
the exhaust tubes to be e equal length. But I also don't want the exhaust sticking way out here. So I'm trying to keep it tucked into the motor as tight as possible while maintaining some semblance of similar tubing length. And that's just really not going to work very well, I don't think. I don't know, if I come, if I make it more like a conventional style, see, I originally was wanting to fire the megaphone down like this. If I go with a more conventional style, then I can bring this up and this we can turn, you know, turn down and the collector sideways here, but that's really not the look I'm going for. So I think being that this isn't a true performance deal, I might sacrifice the tube length to get the look I want. So we can have the downward firing megaphone and still have a cool looking pipe. All right, so we got our next piece made. I could tack this up with the MIG welder right on the bike, but because these are going to be ceramic coated and I want to really get the welds nice and clean, I'm going to elect to mark it. You can see I got the three Sharpie marks for reference so I can line this up. I'll go over, I'll tack it with the TIG welder, we'll refit it, and then we'll finish weld it. It's a little bit more work this way, but I want these pipes to be really clean. And every now and then you get some big welds with the MIG that you can't control as good as you can with the TIG. All right, so we got our first piece, or, you know, first, I don't know what you want to call it, our second piece of our rear pipe on, weld it up. And we're going to go ahead and get this. Okay, so we'll decide how that's gonna clock as we get our collector and stuff on there, which I need to go try and dig up. It's uh, 7.40, so Nicole put it somewhere. She'll be here in a little bit if I can't find it. But um, Next up, we wanna get this, this piece and this piece need to come together for the collector. So I'm gonna start looking at how we're gonna do that, which we might have to get a little, little sneaky with it, a little double curve action. about the length we need on our pipe here so we'll go ahead and get this lobbed off we can get it tacked on and then come back and start with what's going to be our more intricate pieces to fit i'll try and chuck some if i break it it's okay it's you can't break it, you, it you, you what you're going to break is your fucking leg or your shin yeah Do that shit. It's a pretty cool excuse. Just saying, if 
bitches can do it, I think I can do it. Are you recording? Yeah, I'm talking all this shit. Yeah. Yep. Love that. You're going to put it right in the video, too. Ask the YouTube's uh, opinion. You think I can kick Starter Boy? I think I can. Starter Boy, you could. Yeah. Low compression bikes. Like Craig's, for example? No. No, it's harder. That's hard, yeah. Because of its age or just because? Because of the kind of bike it is. Yeah. And it takes a little bit of a challenge. All right, so we got our collector. I think we'll. We got to add a little piece of straight onto here so this will slip onto there. And then we got to figure out how to get. Or do I want to re angle that? Maybe we want to re angle that and angle that down. Hmm. What do you think, Tom? Let's take a look at it. Yeah. So right now it's like this. And the mega, you know, it's going to be like a stubby megaphone, obviously yeah. cut off. But do we want it like that, or do we want to re-angle this and have it more like a street sweeper? Yeah, whatever. I mean, I guess this is probably more racy, huh? Yeah, back farther. Yeah. All right. And then I just got to figure out how I'm going to get this to here. <laughs> All right. All right, we'll get a little piece of straight put on here and come back and keep working. What are you gonna wrap it when you're done? No. No. Ceramic black. Mm. I've graduated from wrapping, it's too low budget. Yeah. I think. I mean it is. Yeah, it used to be, yeah. Used to be like hot rod look, but now that's been done. Yeah, now it's just every cheapskate. Are these both? All right, so give you a little zoom in here. This is basically the gist of it. Now what we got to do is figure out how we're going to get from here up into this. I feel like this may end up getting chopped off shorter, and we're going to do a an S bend, I think that will follow this somewhat. So we'll have a straight piece, we'll come off here where it'll slip in. Then we're gonna have another bend from here. Which might be this, actually. If we have here, here, and here. And then this needs to get cut off straight. This might do it for us right here, these three pieces. Bill's already got me locked in for the Friday after Thanksgiving and possibly Saturday too. For moving? So without adjusting, you know, it's just... It's very, well, it's, it's extremely, it's extremely it's intricate, right? Yeah. yeah. And if it's not, if the rake isn't right, the bike won't handle right. Yeah. Yeah. So much math on this. You would never like guess. It's engineering. Yeah. To understand rake and trail, you have to will invest with a bunch of times in John. Yeah. I have to look at, I have to look at it to understand. I, it. I have to, yeah, I look at, look at yeah, and I, there's a calculator online yeah. that I use, like a rake rake and troll calculator, and you can plug it in, and then you can make adjustments and see what you need to do to get it right. Yeah. But yeah, I, like you can't do that kind of math in your head. Yeah. No, it's, I mean, yeah. 
I mean, maybe someone can, but I can't. It's written on my thing because I know I didn't write down anything yesterday I know. S somehow. I don't know how I managed no, it. I just mean to the second invoice. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, I, I, I was thinking, you know yeah, I'm just trying to visualize and see. All right, I'll bring it up now. Yeah, these people. All right, so there's one more piece of the puzzle. We got this piece, and we just need to get our inch and three quarter. Mm, nope, I lied, because this is not, dang, we're gonna need a little tiny piece to make it. And actually, that needs what to be a little, do? I didn't do anything, I'm looking at it. Is from, this one Maybe. Oh, duh, we could just slip it in less, I'm an idiot. But we still well, need. I thought we looked at it pretty yeah, good. Yeah, we did, we did. I think we still might need a little curve. You want me to hold one? No. That's going to be a funky S curve. Yeah. Be a real short S curve or something, right? No, you could do it with like a, just a little tiny pie. Yeah. You know, like to, yeah. to curve this like this. 3.14 pie? Mm -hmm. Actually, that's <laughs> probably better there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it gets it a little bit farther away from here too. Yeah. What's next on Chuck's bike? Um Matt's allowed to safely. I saw well, I saw he posted something on Facebook, so I assumed. Oh did he? He texted me at like eleven or something. He was like down Yeah, I saw he posted something at midnight or something, so. Oh yeah. Yeah. I assumed, but. Josephine coming here or you're putting her up on your way? Um, she's getting dropped off at the house. So. What'd you think? It's good. Here's your Nike disc. It's been fun when I like to make one. It's like adult Legos. Yeah. <laughs> except you gotta make all the pieces. Yeah. Yeah, this. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's a little little megaphone. I gotta grab the caliper so I can measure it and then figure out where to cut it off on the taper. Good thing you have seventeen calipers. Yeah, I found I found the other two that were missing this morning too. Ooh, that's gonna be stubbier than I thought. Stubby in which aspect? It's only gonna be this long. I know. Well, the only way I could do that is to get a, a different megaphone. Well, how? Mark off that length. So it's about a little less than that. Yeah. Hey, Tom, come check this out and see what you think. Paintbrush. I mean, this is some old stuff. Anyway, I can just cut this up and look at it and see if we like it. But this is only going to be like this long. Because of why? The taper diameter. Oh, to fit on to there? To fit on there. Yeah. You think that's okay? I think so. Yeah. All right, well, let's cut it and Absolutely. see. Absolutely, as long as it ain't your way, it's not in the way of anything. Oh, no, no, I wouldn't work. I just was yeah. kind of ex thinking I was going to have it be a little, but the taper is only, well, like, only, and I didn't buy this for, this is, yeah, that's been sitting, been sitting around, around for, yeah. forever, so I was just trying to utilize something. Yeah, you only got what you, what you got. Right. I might make a mount. I might with off of here. I could I could run some threads on this and yeah. just a little tab, or maybe I just cut that off and drill it. Put another one in and put a little tab from underneath just for just, just to hold it off the frame. Yeah. Yeah. You had to cut that off. I had to cut no, it off. No, no. It was too long. But that's probably screwed in there, anyways, ain't it? Or you Pro think it's hammered in from the back? It's probably, but I might be able to just knock it out yeah. from this side yeah, and have a hole. Tap it, and tap it, or whatever. Or you grind it all flat and drill it. I think other people realize. Yeah.
Hell yeah, Will. No. no. Yeah, yeah. Alright, now do we how do we want to aim? Trade out. Personally, I like it a little bit down. down like that. Down. I like down a little bit street sweeper style. Like that, yeah. There we go. Hi right, Johnny. Yeah. Alright. I think we got the fab all finished on this bike, just in time for us to head out of town. So I'm really, really liking the exhaust. The megaphone is a little bit shorter than I had in my mind, but I think it might actually be perfect. Should have a good sound. We got plenty of ground clearance on it. If it was longer like I had wanted, it probably would have ended up dragging or something. So um, nice tight step header. We stepped from the primary tube pipe engine three eighths to inch and a half to inch and three quarters and then that goes into an inch and seven eighths collector two and a quarter inch outlet so it should be a really nice performance pipe even though it's not really a real performance bike uh, the only thing we did sacrifice on is uneven tube length but you know you got to give a little when you're dealing with something where you're worried more about aesthetics than performance see paw prints on here what does that do uh, yeah tom's in the house whining whining complaining as usual paw prints on my bike greasy paws <laughs> what's that you say yes if he just finished it it wouldn't be in here oh <laughs> all right guys that's a wrap we got that exhaust done i'm really pumped on how it came out i think it's going to sound really cool and uh, once we get it all finished welded and ceramic coated it should have a really really slick look against the rest of the bike so this is it we're getting out of here we're going on vacation for thanksgiving i hope everybody has a happy thanksgiving gets to spend it with whoever they want family or friends or whatever and we'll be back i guess in a couple of weeks um we're gonna miss a weekend of videos so i hope you guys can survive without us and we hope to see you next time at gaddy's garage